Hey everybody, it's Christy from Tales of the Ravenous Reader and I am so excited today because I get to do one, my very first unboxing video um, on our new booktube channel and two, it's like the most exciting box I could ever actually do. So my first unboxing video is going to be of this month's quarterly subscription box, which as you can imagine is a quarterly um, box that is curated by a specific author and this month's author is an author who I have recently fallen very much in love with, S.J. Kincaid. If you have not checked out her book, The Diabolic, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Both Nancy and I are doing a co-review on the book and our recap of her launch event which took place at Hickleby's will be up really, really soon. So I'm really, really excited to not only share the box that she curated but all the fun stuff that goes along with it. So. We have here the box, and of course I've already opened it and scanned it a bit because um, I just couldn't resist before I opened it. Plus, like, trying to open things on camera is not super fun. So, I'm not going to do like any crazy scissor cutting or anything, but I'm really, really excited for everything that's in this box. I love the packaging that it comes in. It's really simple, but it's secure. Um, and basically, packaged in the lace. So, so, so cute. So, at the, the top of the box, is a little card which is so cutely packaged with a little bit of information for the subscribers which is really really lovely there's a bunch of information about the books that are in there about the author that curated it which of course this time is SJ Kincaid who is so lovely in person we had the opportunity to meet her at her launch event and also at an event right beforehand so it was such a privilege and she's super great so don't miss out if you have a chance to see her talk uh, and I get to see her at Yacht Fest this weekend so that's really, really exciting. I, one of the um, things I love about this box is because it's specially curated, it comes with either a book plate or the book sign. So here's my book plate. Even though I have a signed arc and a finished copy sign right here, I'm so really excited because I can do a giveaway with this, which is really, really, really cool. Um, another one of the pieces that's in there is a postcard for size, which both Nancy and I are super, super excited to read this month. We're both going to tackle it before the end of the month. And the first book in one of his series, Unwind, is included in the box. So I'm so, so, so excited about this because I have other Neil Schusterman books sitting on my shelf and he's coming here in January for a, an event. So I'm like, yes, I can finally do some research before his, his event is here. So I'm really excited for Unwind. Okay, what else is in this box? Swag! I love swag. I love pins. How adorable is this pin? It's a book dragon. I don't know if I'd let dragons eat my um, books, but... I'm really excited for this to add it to my collection, maybe wear it this weekend to Y'all Fest. The game Love Letter, which I actually already own, so it's really funny to get another um, copy of it. Basically in this game, I'll read you the back, it says, All the eligible young men, and may, many not so young, seek to woo the Princess of Tempest. Unfortunately, she has locked herself in a palace, and you must rely on others to bring you romance letters to her. Will yours reach her first? So awesome. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for this probably in the near future because I already have, um, I already have my own copy. But it's really exciting, and if you, I don't want to spoil the di diabolic with you, but it's actually really related to the diabolic, so um, that's really exciting. Next up is *The Scorpion Rules* by Aaron Bo. I had, I've never heard of this book. I have never heard of this author, so that's really exciting because when I read the synopsis on the back, I was like, I can totally get behind this book. This is really really cool um the world is at peace said the utterances and really if the odd princess has a hard day is that too much to ask that opening piece i'm just like yep i'm so there and it's really really beautiful too so i'm really excited to to tackle this one. Oh, and i guess i should have maybe talked a little bit about unwind which is the first in, in what looks like a pretty um developed series so that's exciting and um, connor Risa, and lev are running for their lives sounds really good i can't wait and for the moment we've all been waiting for, my very own third copy of The Diabolic, um, which is absolutely gorgeous if you have not seen it. Don't want to take this off yet, I guess. Um, it's gorgeous inside and out. So I'm really excited to have another copy. And what is super great about this box is she's actually annotated this copy. So you get to see all of her insight thoughts on what was happening at certain moments in the book. So I'm really excited about that because I, I read it super fast because it was so great and I heard, heard her talk about it a few times and so it'd be really exciting to get through and see what's going on in her head as I read this. Um, the quarterly box is one of the more pricey boxes on the market and I think you get what you what you pay for. I mean really actually you get more than what you pay for because three books plus a game plus all kinds of little other tchotchkes 
I mean, for $50, you can't get that anywhere else. I mean, books alone are 20. So it's really exciting to have a brand new subscription box for, um, for me to keep on my radar. So anyways, leave me a note if you are also getting the quarterly box or if you read the Diabolic or if you want to read the Diabolic um, and let me know what you think because I'm really interested in hearing what other people might think about this book. It is absolutely ruthless um, but amazing at the same time. It's almost like nothing else I've read. If, we, if I were to put it into terms, it's like it would be really similar to what happens in the Lunar Chronicles except about 10 times more ruthless and it was super great to see her talk about it because it went through um, three drafts and each of the drafts basically it was to make the characters less ruthless. So I'm like blood gore all about that love it when um characters can really do some damage in a book so anyways drop me notes look forward to talking to you soon bye